Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Jay from Maji and Jay and today I got here the unboxing of the Zoophone i6 and this is going to be the model with the MTK6582. I got this from, from HK Wheel and HK Wheel is from DHK.com. I will be providing the link below so that you guys can check it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing and check the contents inside of the package. As you guys can see, I got it once again through DHL and I paid, I believe it was about $18 extra for DHL shipment. Now it is 100% worth it because I got it very fast. It only took about six days to arrive and we almost got it. And here it is. And here we can see once again, it is covered by foam, which is great. And here we have the Zoophone i6 Plus box. We can see how similar this is to the original box on the side here. We're going to have the iPhone logo. We have the sketch of the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone logo. On the bottom, it is claiming to be the 64 gigabyte model, but that's going to be fake. We can see here that it is claimed to be the iPhone 6 Plus Space Gray 64 gigabytes. It says here, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China with the model number. We have the part number, serial number, and also the IMEI. So let's check and see what's inside. And here we can see the actual phone itself. Let's go ahead and put this aside. I can tell already that it is made of aluminum. Inside we're going to have the manuals as if they were the original. This time we can see the pouch goes around the box and it is not short. Let's see what kind of manuals we got here. And this time you're just going to have two papers here. One of them says iPhone 6 Plus as we can see right there guys making a seem very legit. It almost goes as if it was the original and on this one it's going to give us the iPhone info. As we can see right there it is only two pages. And here we have the earphones, as you guys can see, this time you don't have the Apple logo on the back. We also have the 5 volt wall charger, this is the American kind. And this time we're going to have the 8 pin USB cable, as we can notice right there. And lastly, we're going to have the SIM ejector tool. Inside of the box we have nothing else, so let's put this aside and get back to the phone. We can see how nice this is, and I'm going to give you guys a 360 glance around the device. So that we can notice here how similar this is to the original product. It is absolutely outstanding. This time, even the lines on the back, they match perfectly well with the original device, which is the iPhone 6 Plus. We can see here the 8 megapixel sensor camera. We also have what appears to be a secondary microphone, but this could also be a reset button. We also have the LED flash, and we can see the Apple logo on the bottom. It's going to say iPhone designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, which is very cool. And once again, this is made of aluminum. On this side, we see the power button. On the top, it's going to be plain. On the left, we're going to have the silent switch together with the volume rockers up and down, like we've seen before. We also have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the microphone, the 8 pin charging port, and the loudspeaker. Let's go ahead and open here the SIM tray to confirm this is going to be the nano size, which I believe it is. This is a one to one replica. No reasons for it to be the regular micro, and we can see that yes, this is the nano size which is definitely a plus. On the front here, we're going to have the 5.5 inch multi-touch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. If you look on the top, you can barely see it, but we're going to have the proximity sensor, the two megapixel front facing camera and the ear speaker. Right on the bottom, we're going to have the touch ID or what appears to be the touch ID, but that's going to be fake. This is going to be a regular home button. Now let's go ahead and power on the device and see what kind of boot logo we have here. And I believe it's going to be the Apple logo as we can notice there. Now I also have here the Goof on i6 Plus, which I got from iBaby888. And we can see that on the screen size at least, they're exactly the same. Both of them have a metal body, but this time we're going to have the MTK6582. It also comes with one gigabyte of internal RAM and it has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And once again, I got this from HK wheel i believe i paid 170 dollars for this device but i gotta say that it looks absolutely outstanding it is running the fake ios 8 but it's going to have the android 4.2.2 jelly bean so here we can notice already from the last screen we have the date the day we also got the quick camera toggle and it says here slide to unlock let's do just that and this time we're going to have a setup guide just like the Goof on i6 Plus which we got from iBaby. So I think this is going to be carrying the same ROM and that's the great news because we know that the ROM from the Goof on i6 Plus was absolutely outstanding. And as a matter of fact, I mentioned that all we needed was a better MTK processor so that way it can run more fluently. Let's go ahead and skip all this right here and as you guys can see after the skip it comes to where it says begin use and once you tap on it it's going to take you directly to the home screen. If you swipe down we're going to be prompted to the search option. Also if you go from the bottom to the top you can see we have control center. We also got the notifications. Uh, here we can see the stocks. We also have I believe the calendar and we can set up the weather. For the notifications it's going to be the same thing as we see on Android devices. If you go here to settings we go to general. 
If you go to about device, it is faking to be the iOS 8.0.2, but again, that's going to be fake. This is going to have the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And here we're going to also compare it briefly here with the Goof One i6 Plus, which I got from iBaby888, and we can see that both of them are very similar. We have the iOS, the model, everything appears to be the same. So I think that the Goof One or the Sue Phone i6 Plus has adopted the operating system from the Goof One i6 with the MTK6572. Maybe they have the same factory. And again, guys, this is going to have one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. A lot of the information is going to be faked on here, but I'll be bringing the review very soon. So like always, if you guys do have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.